Bangkok is the vibrant capital of Thailand and one of the world's most visited cities. It has something to offer everyone, with its bustling streets, lively nightlife, exotic temples, and delicious street food. Whether you are looking to explore ancient Buddhist temples or shop in modern malls filled with designer brands, there is no shortage of things to do in this exciting city. Even with a short stay of two nights, or for a long stopover, explore everything that Bangkok offers you, and you will be sure to leave with lasting memories. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. Today, we are going to explore Bangkok for 48 hours. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and you are all set for a memorable trip. Bangkok is a vast city, and the public transport is not as efficient as in other places in Asia, so try to find lodging in a strategic area such as Khao San Road, or even better, by the Riverside area, which is a bit more expensive but closer to the main sites and traditional restaurants and cafes. Day 1 Start your day with a visit to Wat Pra Khao and the Grand Palace, two of Bangkok's most iconic attractions. You'll be mesmerized by their intricate architecture, grandeur, and history. Explore the various temples, shrines, and pavilions as you learn about Thai culture and Buddhism. Spend some time admiring these majestic structures' beauty before exploring more of Bangkok's cultural sites. Take in all of the vibrant colors, ornate decorations, and detailed sculptures that make up this stunning complex. It is a sight to behold. After that, take a leisurely stroll through nearby Ratanakosin Island, full of fascinating temples, shrines, and other cultural sites such as Wat Arun. Wat Arun is a magnificent structure that dates back to the late 1700s conflicts between Siam and Burma. General Taksin, a local hero, promised to march until the sun rose again, and built Wat Arun, which means Temple of the Dawn, here. Years later, the new king constructed his royal residence and a private chapel. Wat Arun is a must-see in Bangkok, and the best way to get there is to take one of the many taxi boats that sail the river. From the water, the view of the 70-meter-high pagoda is breathtaking. After the temple, don't forget to stop off at Chinatown for some fantastic street food. Take in this vibrant area's sights, sounds, and smells before exploring its many shops, selling traditional items like jade, silk, and jewelry. Our afternoon stop is the Bayoke Sky Tower for its spectacular views of Bangkok from the observation deck. Enjoy breathtaking panoramas stretching across the city as far as the eye can see. You'll be mesmerized by how beautiful Bangkok is from such a height. On a clear day, you might even catch sight of the prominent landmarks and islands in the distance. End your day with a romantic dinner cruise down the Chao Praia River. You can enjoy delicious Thai cuisine while watching the sunset over Bangkok's skyline. Enjoy live music and traditional performances as you drift along this iconic river. It's an experience not to be missed. Day 2 Have a full breakfast, because the second day will also be packed with action. Start your day with a visit to the vibrant Chatuchak Weekend Market. You'll find anything and everything here, from souvenirs to fashion accessories. Explore its many stalls filled with colorful items before spending time in one of its cafes or restaurants for lunch. Take a break from sightseeing and spend some time relaxing at Lumpini Park. It's the perfect spot for a picnic or to take in the peaceful atmosphere. You can also rent out paddle boats and explore the lake, or participate in various activities like yoga classes. One of the most Instagram-famous sites in Bangkok is your next destination, the Giant Swing. The 27-meter-high teak frame of the Giant Swing, which stands in the center of the busy square in front of Wat Sutat, was built in the 1700s to be used in traditional Brahmin ceremonies. Still, it was later damaged by lightning, 
and is now only used as a decorative piece. This was the focal point of a religious ceremony held after the rice harvest every December. Initially, the ritual required people to swing as high as 25 meters to catch a bag full of silver coins. Nonetheless, it frequently resulted in fatal injuries, and King Rama prohibited this part of the ceremony in the late 1930s. Join many other fellow travelers for your last dinner in Bangkok in a memorable street food experience. Be sure to try some local specialties, such as Pad Thai or Som Tam, a spicy green papaya salad. Remember to pick up some fresh fruit for a snack on the go, and look out for vendors with long queues. These are usually the ones serving up the best food. Take one last walk in Bangkok's chaotic traffic and look at the locals. Life here is simple and flows slowly despite all of the honking horns, tuk-tuks weaving through the busy streets, and revving car engines. Thailand is a place that will forever have a place in your heart. Have you been to Bangkok? Let us know in the comment section below which other unique places you have visited. If you are planning a trip, ask your questions to our community. We are here to help every fellow traveler. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the following video. Ciao!